Thank you from TSH. You'll look at that from the back row to the front row. It's only a car length in it. Here we go, final time, round three of the FA World Running Cross Championship. Hakenan on the inside. PG Anderson on the outside. Solberg trying to look for a gap between. Hakenan knows the score. Hakenan has managed to shut the door. He's going to lead down the hill. Anderson's run wide. Solberg's going to go up the inside. So Solberg's gone the inside. Anderson's been completely pushed wide. Extra round wide there. Has he got a problem with the steering hand? Hurrying a lot. The bonnet's come up. We don't know if it's that a suspension problem that we've seen on some cars, or is it just struck him with visibility that the bonnet's right above where his eye line was. So has he had a strut come up through the bonnet, or is there something else on the car? We can't see from here. Maybe we'll get a sneaky look from the side, but he is out of the running. Oh, he's going to come down to Haken and Solberg. Look at the gap they've got already. Haken and out front. Don't forget, he was the winner here last year. Now, did anybody go for the Joker? Solberg goes. Solberg goes to the Joker. Keep your eyes peeled. Is it a good one? It's not. It's a dreadful joke lap for Petter Solberg. He's a full car with wide out the dirt. He's dropped a load of time. Haken and leading from Solberg. Right, when do you go on your joke lap? You're Haken and when do you go? Now or do you wait? Is he going to go? Yes, he, he does. He does. Haken goes to the joke lap. Now, this might be what seals the third round of the World Rally Cross Championship. It's a better joke than Solberg, but it's going to be super tight between them. Haken and lights it up. There's still laps to go. He uses every single inch of the track. He comes out just in front of Solberg. So now he's got to hold off the world champion for another couple of laps. Great call by that. Solberg in the first eight, six, the fastest lap of the weekend. That was such an important time to do it. If they left it a lap later, I think Solberg would have taken enough to get track position on Haken. He just has to keep it neat and tidy through here. Hit his markers, get his brake mode, get it stopped nice and early into the last corner. He'll get the drive off then. Here we go, then Tommy Haken, and he gets the car stopped. He's coming around the left-hander. Haken had managed to win here last time out. It's two years in a row for the Finnish driver. He takes the win at Mette in Belgium. Solberg recovers from that jump start, and Haken had heads straight down to the point he did the donuts last year. He chucks the car into a circle in front of the arse spotters down. Solberg too. The crowd have gone mad. Toppy, what an incredible drive. First of all, what does it feel like to have Petter Solberg behind you all that time, knowing what he did in the semi-final? Yeah, I saw him one time on, behind me, but it's keeping me wake up all the time, like a whole final. It's really hard to speak right now. You're having a really good feeling, and I'm having a good feeling, and thanks to my team, they did a really good job. On the first two races, they were not so good for us, but now we are back in the business, and this is my place, hey. So Petter Solberg then leading the championship from Johan Christofferson. That win puts Toppy Hakenen up into third. Backward, Hansen, Nittish, Anderson and Janay are your top eight. Then it's Ekstrom, Larsen, Doran, Stoll, Linnerud, Faust, of course, with that one-off appearance, Timothy Arnold and Markland. But Toppy Hakenen is the man for round three.